Hey there, and welcome to Insomnia Insight number 356, in which we will go over a very important concept to understand, which is the Bermuda Triangle Effect. When you tune into this video, you will understand why it is that you can go a long periods of time without even feeling sleepy at all, all right? So this is what we're gonna talk about today. So before we get to you know the topic, we, we have to, I have to make sure that you're familiar with the Bermuda Triangle. You know, when I was growing up, there were a lot of you know speculation about what was going on over there because sometimes airplanes just disappeared, never to be seen. Again, it was very mysterious. I don't know if they, to this, they have figured that one out, but that's the Bermuda Triangle, okay? It's the place where airplanes and ships and things like that just disappear, you know? And so it can seem like when it comes to your sleepiness. It is a very, it's a very common question on this channel. Why is it that I just do not feel sleepy at all? Okay, so now that we've talked about, you know, what the Bermuda Triangle is and, and uh, you know, this phenomenon of just like not feeling sleepy for long periods of time, we're gonna start unraveling this and see why it happens. So we have to do a little quick review of our sleep physiology. And by the way, before I forget this, if you're new to the channel and you think like, ah, I think this is sort of like, I don't understand where Daniel's going here. Somebody actually messaged me earlier today and said like, when I started watching your videos, it seems like I'm just jumping in in a conversation that's been going on for a while. If, if you feel that way, then please, Go to the description of any new video and you will find links to playlists, including one that's called This is Natto and one that's called Success Stories. Those are great places to start, by the way. All right, that said, let's go over the gas and brake model, okay? So this is you know, very, very, a very simple model of how sleep works, sleep physiology. So there are really only two things that matter. The gas is basically sleep drive, how much our body needs to sleep at any, 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 at any given point. And that sleep drive is increased by only one thing in the whole entire universe, which is wakefulness. The longer you're, you're awake, the more sleep drive you have, the more that your body wants to sleep. And that is experienced as sleepiness. Now, we have one other factor that's also important, of course, which is the break in our system. The break in our system is called hyperarousal. And this is a heightened sense of alertness. It is a an anticipatory state. It is what you feel when there's something that's about to happen, but you don't exactly know why. It's, it's commonly uh, caused by anxiety or excitement or curiosity or something like that. Think about it like a kid before Christmas there, kind of hyper, hyper aroused. Now, now with that we talked about like, you know, how sleep is regulated. And, we'll, and by the way, if you have sleep drive and you're not hyper aroused, you have gas but no break, then sleep will happen. If there's a lot of break, but no gas, it will not happen with insomnia. Classically, you have both. You have sleep drive, but you're also hyper You have this fitful in and out of sleep type situation. Now, now that we know this, we can move over to another very, very common phenomenon, which it, it lends itself very nicely to talk about this before we get to the Bermuda Triangle effect, which is the Houdini effect. This is when you feel like really sleepy in the evening. You just can't keep your eyes open. Your head is bobbing like that. But the minute you go to your bed, ding, you're wide awake. It it's often strikes people as very strange and bizarre. And often people think there's something wrong with them when this happens. There's absolutely not, nothing wrong with you if this has happened to you. In fact, the Houdini effect is proof that your mind's safety system is working perfectly well. And I'll illustrate why that is. Well, imagine that you are, in fact, really sleepy. You're in your bed, let's say. You're, you're, you're just about to fall asleep. And then suddenly you remember you left the oven on. Ding! You immediately feel wide awake. You go up, check the oven. It was indeed on. You turn it off. Great. You know, perfect. You needed to wake up at, at that point because it was a safety concern. That thought, the oven is on should make you completely wide awake. You know, that's exactly what should happen. Now, why is it that that happens when you go from like being on the couch, you know, trying to stay awake, but you almost can't and going to bed and you feel wide, wide awake? There's a little confusion there. It's the confusion that underlies all insomnia, which is that wakefulness, being awake at night, is a threat, a problem, something that shouldn't happen. You know, when wakefulness has been identified, identified by the safety system in the brain as a threat, then 
when you just you know you're about to fall you're super sleepy in the evening but you go to you go to bed and now you want to sleep and the brain goes like what if you don't sleep what if you're awake all night then the fear that you'll be awake at night creates that houdini effect we immediately become very wide awake and the reason it's called the houdini effect by the way is that it appears as if that sleepiness you had just goes away it just disappears which is actually not really the case your body still needs to sleep there's still sleep dry there it's just that it's like that sleepiness is completely masked if you weigh by the hyper arousal you know the break is just you know just masking all that high all all the sleepiness that you would have felt if it wasn't present so now we have talked about uh, you know sleep physiology we have seen what the houdini effect is about now how about this how about when you just haven't felt sleepy for like five weeks or even longer you just like I never ever feel sleepy, okay? That is the Bermuda Triangle effect, and it is really simply a drawn out Houdini effect. It is the exact same thing, but drawn out. Instead of the sudden, the sleepiness just disappeared. It is just vanished, okay? It seems like it's vanished. It seems like it went into that Bermuda Triangle never to be seen again, but there's nothing strange or mysterious about it. It is, again, the brain's safety uh, system is working in your favor. It's just that it's a little confused for the same reason we just talked about. And with the Bermuda Triangle effect, it is that the hyper arousal is there, you know, on a on a permanent basis. It's always there. The brain kind of always thinks that there is some threat, some problem, something out there, and it needs to keep you awake and alert. That's why you do not experience any sleepiness for long periods of time. That is the Bermuda Triangle effect. Now remember, sometimes it is obvious to you why you have this Bermuda Triangle effect or Bermuda effect for short. And sometimes you know that you are just anxious throughout the day. You know, you're just thinking about sleep. You're wondering, you're pondering, you're researching, you're doing all these things. And, and then if, if that is you, then that is where that uh, Bermuda Triangle effect comes from. It is that permanent hyper arousal that comes from anxiety. But oftentimes people say, I just don't feel sleepy, but I, I'm not particularly anxious or scared. It's just like, I do not feel sleepy. My sleepiness just isn't there. Remember, hyper arousal comes from many places. It can come from frustration, from anger, from resentment, from envy, from anything that makes you kind of hyper aroused, you know? And the two I listed just two here because there's a common ones anxiety and curiosity or puzzlement, bewilderment. Just wondering why you're not sleeping, just like constantly wondering, like, why is it that I don't sleep? Why is it I never feel sleepy? I'm like kind of curious or I wonder about that. That is enough to increase your hyper arousal to levels where you don't experience sleepiness. All right. Very, very important to understand that one. Now, before we move further, uh, you know, something just struck me as we were talking here that I think is important, which is this. Uh, a very good, gen generally a good rule of thumb is that, you know, don't, don't allow yourself to sleep or don't go to bed. Like, don't sleep unless you feel sleepy. I think that's a general, generally kind of helpful. Like, don't turn off the lights and, like, go to bed unless you feel some sleepiness. But... If you've had this Bermuda Triangle effect and you never feel sleepy, it can be kind of confusing because like, what am I supposed to do? I just never feel sleepy. And it can become very tempting to go, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta really pay attention so I know when I should sleep. I've gotta really look out for that sleepiness. But guess what? Then you create hyper arousal by really focusing on like, am I sleepy or am I not sleepy? Am I sleepy? Am I not sleepy? I think I'm sleepy. So you see, that is enough to make that sleepiness vanish itself. Looking for sleepiness is is enough to make you not feel sleepy so if this is the case you will see that what we're going to talk about uh in, in a second here actually solves that problem as well so i just want to make a little extra point here about like don't go looking for sleepiness because that will make you not sleepy for sure all right now next step here is just just briefly talking about emotions you know hyper arousal is you know an emotion um or an emotional state um, and, and those are all, all emotions, happiness, sadness, they're all at baseline fleeting. You know, they're just signals that are supposed to make us do something, take action. Uh, and if without a, like, thought habits or thought loops, 
hyperarousal cannot be maintained. Uh, the example I, I like here is when you see like a nature show of some gazelles that are grazing and then a lion appears, they get really scared, right? And they start running away naturally. But as soon as the lion has caught a gazelle and is like eating, then they actually start grazing again because they realize danger is over. And, and you know, it seems kind of bizarre, like really strange how they can like actually see a lion just killed one of their, you know, one of their uh, comrades, but they see that they're not no longer in danger. So they just start grazing. And that just shows how, you know, feelings like even strong feelings, if they're not maintained, they go away. The difference between for us humans is that we can think about thoughts, we can think about our emotions, and we can get into these loops that just sustain certain emotions, for example, anxiety. So if you constantly think about, you know, why you're not sleeping, you're trying to figure it out, you know, you're looking for the solution, et cetera, et cetera, that can that can become these thought loops, thought habits that can maintain hyperarousal, which otherwise would be fleeting like any emotions. So then we hear this, you know, okay, I have these thought loops, loops, I have these thought habits that is maintaining my hyperarousal. It's always there at some point, at some level, and that's why I never feel sleepy. Then the natural next question becomes like, how do I stop these? How do I break these cycles? How do I stop thinking about this? But guess what? That is not the path. Meaning whenever you, whenever I have a client telling me, how can I break the cycle? I'm like, is, when you want to break the cycle, you're going to maintain it. How can I stop my thoughts? When you just stop your thoughts, you're going to have more of them. It's kind of like if I tell you, don't think about a pink elephant. Don't think about it. Don't think about a pink elephant. Of course, you're going to think about a pink elephant. So if you're like, I want to break these thought habits. I want to stop thinking about this. That is not the way. So what is the way? Here it is. First of all, yeah, don't try stopping them. But let's go over the three things here that's, that's really, really important. Be willing to listen. Uh, this sounds very counterintuitive because the thoughts are always causing hyperarousal and you're trying to, you, you don't want to have that hyperarousal. You don't want to have that thoughts, but guess what? Everything in sleep world is kind of paradoxical and counterintuitive. But when you actually are, are willing to listen to the brain and you're willing to have these thoughts, you know, and you're sitting down and you're just like, okay, what if I don't sleep tonight? And you're like, okay, I hear that thought, you know, and it says, what if you don't sleep and maybe you're going to lose your job tomorrow? Then you're like, okay, I'm listening. And I'm actually going to, I'm just going to listen to a degree where I'm going to imagine the thing that you're trying to tell me about brain. I'm going to imagine that. Well, guess what? When you're willing to experience even these like warning thoughts from the brain that are sort of anxiety producing, when you're willing to listen to them, the brain has no reason to warn you anymore. You know, if you try to stop thoughts, you get more of them. When you're willing to have thoughts, the brain doesn't feel any need to bombard you with these thoughts over and over again because you're listening and it feels like, okay, he's paying attention. I don't need to bombard him. And those thoughts eventually become fleeting. Okay. So be willing to listen. Number one, number two, deploy awareness. And this is simply what we're doing here. When you understand the Houdini effect, you understand the Bermuda triangle effect. You understand that thoughts are fleeting by nature. You just understand this. Just as awareness is change. Awareness is a change. You're already taking a big leap in the, in the right direction just by understanding what you do now. And then finally, self-kindness. I cannot stop talking about this. It's so important. You know, when you've gone to this like, okay, Daniel said, I'm going to be willing to listen to my thoughts. Okay, I'm doing that. And I'm deploying awareness. But I still can't help it. I'm still thinking this. I'm still in these thought loops. I'm still in these thought patterns. And guess what? You've already, you're already doing great work don't pressure yourself. Don't be hard on yourself. You know, you're doing fantastic work already. Be kind to yourself, just like you would a friend who was in your spot, you know, be that kind, gentle, warm person to yourself. Super, super important. And guess what? When you do this, when you um, do all the things we talked about, and you're not looking for sleepiness, you're listening, you're deploying self-kindness and awareness, etc. your hyper arousal will dissipate and guess what that plane that sleepiness that that airplane that ship that disappeared will emerge again you will have that magical moment when you go whoa i'm actually feeling sleepy again i'm actually feeling sleepy again and that will be another great step in the direction of never struggling with sleep ever 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 again in your life you can get there absolutely just by tuning in here, you can get there. If you would like some uh, more support on your journey, then definitely consider 
downloading bedtime from your app store. You're invited to work with me there. Look forward to having you as a client if you'd like to work with me. And we also have another option, which is great if you would like to have some company in your journey towards never struggling again, towards immunity from insomnia, which is, of course, our self-coaching master program, uh, which you can find on our website. And if you want to submit questions, by the way, to open class, you'll also go to that website and, and find the banner up top. So with that said, uh, I want to thank you so much for tuning in, and I'll be back with more tomorrow. Until then, take it easy.